Hi, this is Arash and welcome to the Epoxy channel. In this channel, we're gonna talk about the epoxy resins from the theoretical specs to the most practical ones. So if this is the first video that you're watching or if you're interested in epoxy resins, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Today, I'm going to present epoxy equivalent weight or EEW. Uh, when we are about to presenting an epoxy uh, product, uh, some parameters must be presented, uh, some more general like its density, its viscosity and so on. And some others are supposed to be key parameters uh, and some of them must be presented in the TDS. Epoxy equivalent of the epoxy resins in a way it should be presented. Hydroxyl value of epoxy resin is an important factor. Its chloride content is important and also it's a tendency to create crystals and also the detection pro uh, the de detection reactions are of important parameters associated to epoxy resins. An, ov an overview of the most common parameters of resins and methods for uh, determining them is given in DIN 16945. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, definition of various epoxy parameters. And uh, the most important parameter for epoxy resin is their content of epoxy groups because they are reactive and they react with the cross-linking agent and so they determine the amount of cross-linking agent that is needed to be used. But there are uh, different uh, ways to present this parameter. Uh, the most common one is uh, the, epoxide, the epoxide equivalent weight epoxide equivalent weight EEW and it is called epoxide equivalent shortly. Uh, the definition of epoxy equivalent weight or EEW is the gram of resin which contains one mole of epoxy group and it can be uh, presented or it can be calculated based on different standard that I have presented here for example. The other uh, way to uh, the other way to present the uh, epoxy content of uh, an epoxide is easy value or EP number, epoxy number, which is the gram of epoxy groups in 100 grams of resin. So there we have grams of resin contains one mole. Here we have grams of epoxy groups in 100 grams of resins. The other way to present uh, epoxy contents of a resin is EW and it is called epoxy value uh, and it's mole of epoxy groups in 100 gram of resin. The former one was in gram, here it is in mole. Uh, the other way to present the epoxy content is EI value or EI and known as epoxy index. It is defined as mole of epoxy groups in one kilogram of resin. And the standard for it is presented here. The other way to measure the epoxy group is ESO value, uh, also called epoxy oxygen, and it's gram of epoxy oxygen in 100 gram of resin. So technically these are uh, equivalent and they can be converted to each other easily. So it means that if you know the EEW of a resin, you know all other factors as well. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, definition of various epoxy parameters. And uh, the most important parameter for epoxy resin is their content of epoxy groups because they are reactive and they react with the cross-linking agent and so they determine the amount of cross-linking agent that is needed to be used. But there are uh, different uh, ways to present this parameter. Uh, the most common one is uh, the, epoxide, the epoxide equivalent weight, epoxide equivalent weight EEW, and it is called epoxide equivalent shortly. 
Uh, the definition of an epoxy equivalent weight or EEW is the gram of resin which contains one mole of epoxy group and it can be uh, presented or it can be calculated based on different standards that I have presented here for example. The other uh, way to uh, the other way to present the uh, epoxy content of uh, an epoxy is EZ value or EP number epoxy number which is the gram of epoxy groups in 100 grams of resin so there we have grams of resin contains one mole here we have grams of epoxy groups in 100 grams of resins the other way to present uh, epoxy contents of a resin is EW and it is called epoxy value uh, and it's mole of epoxy groups in 100 gram of resin. The former one was in gram, here it is in mole. Uh, the other way to present the epoxy content is EI value or EI, and known as epoxy index. It uh, is defined as mole of epoxy groups in one kilogram of resin. And the standard for it is presented here. The other way to measure the epoxy group is ESO value, uh, also called epoxy oxygen, and it's gram of epoxy oxygen in 100 gram of resin. So technically these are uh, equivalent and they can be converted to each other easily. So it means that if you know the EEW of a resin, you know all other factors as well. As mentioned, uh, the epoxy e equivalent of epoxy resin is a really important factor, and there are several several ways to uh, calculate um, this number. And uh, based on this this list, we can uh, calculate these epoxy equivalents. The very first one is determination of EEW using HBr. And as I said, if you have EEW, you have all of the uh, parameters. Okay, uh, we said that the, the most common way for uh, calculating the EEW of a resin is based on HBr titration. And here uh, is just a recall of titration for you, uh, where you have an acid solution, you have an indicator, and you have a titrant, and you try to titrate, and based on uh, the change in the color and the amount of solvent used, you can calculate how much of your uh, Interest, interested material is available in your solution. EW is using a titration method. It means that it is a direct titration of epoxy resin against HBr in acetic acid in the presence of crystal violet indicator, which uh, changes its uh, color after the pH has changed. So here you have the epoxy, here you have the uh, hydrogen halide, and after that this reaction happens and you titrate and see how much epoxy rings have been there. It is good result for glycidyl ethers and uh, cycloaliphatic epoxides, but it is not suitable for glycidyl amines. Here I have provided the uh, procedure for calculating EEW using HBR procedures. Uh, technically, you weigh approximately 0.4 grams of epoxy resin in an Allen Meyer flask and add one and a 10 milliliter of um, methyl isobutyl ketone and mix it well. Then you add 10 milliliter of uh, glacial acetic acid and mix it properly and then titer it with 0.1 normal HPR solution. Based on this formula, you can calculate the epoxy equivalent. Now let's look at the second method, which is the determination of EW using HCl. Uh, reaction of epoxy groups with uh, HCl and uh, dimethyl formal, uh, formamide solution followed by titration of the excess HCl against methanolic NaOH solution in the presence of uh, brown phenyl blue. Uh, 
So it is technically another uh, titration method. It is used based on uh, the 1694.5 procedure. An epoxy resin is dissolved in methyl ethyl ketone and reacts with HCl dissolved in methyl ethyl ketone. The excess uh, of HCl is titrated against KOH solution in the presence of uh, crystal red. So you are measuring uh, these parameters, the initial weight in gram of sample, consumption of HClO4, uh, consumption of HClO4 in the blank sample, uh, and also you have the temperatures, and based on this formula, you calculate the EEW. The third method to uh, calculate the EEW is using tetraethyl ammonium bromide and perchloric acid. Uh, this method is an indirect titration, and actually it can be done based on the uh, 1694.5 and other standards also, ASTM standards are, are also there. It is the reaction of epoxy groups with tetraethyl ammonium bromide in chloroform and glacial acid, uh, acetic acid solution, followed by titration against perchloric per acid in the presence of a crystal uh, Violet, the termination of epoxy that contains amine group is a two-step process because initially the amount of amine group is determined by direct titration against perchloric acid, then tetraethyl ammonium bromide and some more perchloric acid are added. The resultant HPR reacts with the epoxy groups and the determination proceeds by uh, titration against perchloric acid in the presence of crystal violet and this is the formula that you can calculate EEW based on this method. It is also possible to determine the EEW using tetrabutyl uh, tetra ammonium iodide and perchloric acid. This method is again uh, similar to the former one, but the titrant is a kind of change. I'm not explaining it here, but just uh, mention the most important points. Initially, the amount of amine group is determined by direct titration against perchloric acid. Then tetraethyl ammonium iodide and some more perchloric acid is added. The resultant HI react with the epoxy groups in the determination proceeds by titration against perchloric acid in the presence of crystal violet. Finally, we have an analytical method of uh, calculating or determining the EEW based on HNMR spectroscopy. It is also possible to determine the EEW uh, by an HNMR spectroscopy. The signals generated by the aromatic groups and the epoxide groups are well separated in the HNMR spectra. The molecule weight M of a bisphenol A based epoxy resin is related to the repeating unit N, and the M and EEW can be calculated based on uh, this N, uh, which has been calculated based on the integrals resulted in the spectrum of uh, the sample. So it means that uh, R1 is the integral signal of epoxy group, uh, 2.5 to 3.5 ppa, and I2 and uh, etc. all are the integral resulted from the uh, uh, spectra from the HNMR. Using them, we calculate N, and by this N, we are able to measure M and, uh, and EEW. But the uh, standard test method for uh, epoxy content uh, of epoxy resins uh, is D6052. Uh, 
And we always use this method to uh, present the epoxy uh, values in our TDS. Thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share your thoughts, comments, and questions, and I will come back to you soon. Have a great day.